This clown will be showing his moves in Lethbridge this weekend. Clown not being his only title, Derek Scott also goes by internationally acclaimed actor, director, producer and teacher. Scott says after 25 plus years in the business, he has too many amazing memories to count. I'm so fortunate, you know, every year I used to have a highlight, I used to go, oh man, I never would have imagined the year before that I'd be doing this, and then the next year I'd say, oh wow, I'm doing this, and I never thought I'd, so really, you can go back, I really, and they, I never get tired of them, they always, they still excite me, I never get bored, it's certainly Broadway, you know, Broadway, for an actor from Lethbridge, Alberta, to be playing the lead role on Broadway of this great show, there's really nothing, and I, I made the New York Times, like they did my picture in the New York Times. West End in London was very cool. Um, I performed in North Korea. <laughs> like, I've been really fortunate to have uh, done a variety of things. I've worked with Cirque du Soleil, I've worked with the Stratford Festival, which was a great honor to do Shakespeare. Um, I made a video, a short film where I danced. I was a dancer and it, it, kind of bizarre because I'm not a dancer. So I, I've had a gamut of opportunities that I'm, I'm so grateful for. <laughs> the Lethbridge native says he chose to become an artist because it was natural. I got a theory that I think people choose what is easiest. I think we're lazy. Just as human beings, we're just lazy. So if you're really good at math, you probably go into something that's math. I don't think there's a lot of drummers out there who don't have rhythm and go, I'm going to be a drummer. <laughs> so you know what? I was funny. I enjoyed making, I loved making people laugh. It was a real gift. And then, you know, I started to, so you study, you try to be better. You can have natural rhythm, but if you don't study, you'll never be a drummer. So I went off to Toronto, I went off to Paris, and I studied, and I continued to study. Scott will be teaching a course at CASA this weekend on one of what he feels is an essential to all performance, rhythm. I focus on rhythm. In, in Generally speaking, I focus on rhythm. And that might not sound appealing, but in fact, it's amazing when you look at it as a performer, there's rhythm in everything. In a character, in developing a, a character, there's a rhythm involved. In developing scenes, there's ryth rhythms involved. When you're looking at Shakespeare, Shakespeare was very clear in rhythms and, and his breaking of rhythms to create certain effects. So when you start to become aware of these rhythms, both your natural rhythm, what your rhythm is, you can start to control it and you can start to manipulate it. Different characters have different rhythms and, and so they might be something like, are they might be like or something like this. And when you understand those rhythms, you can manipulate them. When you manipulate them, you, you can do better performances. He says the rhythm course developed over time with students ranging from actors to dancers to poets. Scott says he thinks artists taking the course are surprised by one aspect. I think they're surprised on, on how they're, they, I think it's so easy. I think it's really easy to see, but it, I think they're surprised that they never saw it, that they never saw that these things were rhythm based, that Shakespeare created these rhythms and broke these rhythms to create an effect, that a clown routine is funny or a, com a comedian's funny because they have set up something and broken it, or that, uh, so, yeah, I think they're surprised that when you give them the eyes to see it, they go, oh, well, that was easy. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Fallon Wagner.